In this video, we'll be looking at doing some interpretation of phase diagrams. So let's begin by looking at this portion of the phase change diagram. In this region, we would be dealing with a substance in its solid state. Now, next let's take a look at this portion right here. I'd like to go ahead and change colors here. And in this portion right here, make that a little bit darker, we're talking about a substance in its liquid state. And then finally, let's do one other color here. In this portion of the phase diagram, we're talking about a substance in its gas state. Uh, now, if we go back and consider, well, what's taking place where we have these flat regions of the diagram? These are where phase changes are occurring. We can see that uh, moving from here to here, we have the transition, if we're adding heat, from solid to liquid. Uh, if we look at the process going the opposite direction, going from liquid to solid, we're talking about the process of freezing. Here, converting from a liquid to a gas, this would be vaporization, boiling, for example. Going from a gas to a liquid, we would be talking about processes of condensation. So let's go ahead and fill in some of those key processes that are going on. So if we are going this direction here, this would be the process of condensation. If we're moving this direction, this would be the process of boiling. Now, uh, here we would have all liquid. By this point in time, we would have converted all the liquid into gas, or vice versa. At this point, if we're going the opposite direction, if we have all gas, as we go through that process of condensation, we'd be converting it all to liquid. Uh, one more time, let's change colors here and look at this direction right here. If we're moving from solid to liquid, we are talking about the process of melting. If we're going the opposite direction, going from liquid to solid, we're talking about the process of freezing. Now, if we apply this diagram to water, uh, we also want to add in some key temperatures. So this process right here, this is occurring at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Down here on the diagram, we're talking about temperatures of zero degrees Celsius, where we have either that process of melting or freezing. Here we'll look at a different type of phase change diagram. This is one which allows us to look at not only temperature, as we did with the earlier diagram, but it also allows us to consider the role of pressure. Uh, now, on this diagram, let's find where the three different states of matter would be located. We're going to once again apply this to water. So in this region right here, we would be talking about solid water or ice. In the region right here, we are talking about water in the liquid state. And then finally, in the region here, we have water in the gaseous state. This would be water vapor or steam. Uh, now, we can also consider uh, different phase changes that would be occurring on this diagram. For example, that process of condensation is when we're transitioning from this region to this region on the chart. So that would be condensation. The process where we're going from liquid to gas would be boiling. Also, evaporation is a possibility. Um, here, from liquid to solid, I'll change colors here. We have from solid to liquid. This is the process of melting. If we're going from liquid to solid, of course, this is the process of freezing. Uh, finally, it is possible for substances to convert back and forth from solid uh, to the gas state. So if we're converting something from the solid to the gas state, this process is referred to as sublimation. The reverse process, converting from gas to solid, is deposition. Finally, this point on the 
uh, phase change diagrams a really interesting point. This is something which is referred to as the triple point of water. Uh, now, for water, triple point occurs at the following conditions. The temperature for a triple point of water is 0 0.01 degrees Celsius, and this is occurring at a pressure of, I'm going to round off this value, 0 0.006 atmospheres. And this has been a brief look at phase change diagrams.